For many years, the football management in Kenya has come under criticism for lack of proper structures to capture football's talents. But considering that some of the big names in Kenyan football like Dennis Oliech, McDonald Mariga and even Harambe Stars captain Victor Wanyama was spotted while still playing for their schools, putting proper structures in schools might just be the best way of producing such talent. The Kenyan Premier League clubs have continued to rely on secondary school games for a breath of fresh talent to blend with experienced players. The need to improve grassroots football has prompted a need to put up good structures at school level. Founded in 2011 by former footballer Maurice Olum, Express Soccer Academy in Nairobi has been complementing school programs by helping talent discovery for young players. We believe that children are so passionate, children love football all over the world. But the best way to develop such talent is by identifying the institution where they go to. Aspiring footballers from as young as four years old undergo specific training programs in various schools as part of the co-curricular activities. Children are talented, but unless they're given the opportunity and the better, uh, better, better training methodology, children are the better football players. The academy held a tournament at Hillcrest School in Nairobi, which brought together eight schools offering a platform for youngsters to compete. This academy has helped us so much. In the slums, when we come here, we avoid drugs. Drugs have killed so many people. So we are here to, to express our talent. Football is a talent, yes, but you should be even better. You should be maintaining and comparing both of them, education and football, so that uh, when you grow up, you can have a, be a brighter future. The winning teams and top performers walked away with trophies, medals and certificates. Yeah.